I'm Chris Magus with NBC Sports, live from the Winter Olympics. We'll be with Stephen Van Hoeks, who is live from the medal ceremony, then to ice skating champions David Sistrunk and Francisco. It looks like the proceedings are starting. We'll check in with Stephen Van Hoeks, who is there now. Thanks, Chris. The downhill skiing event has just ended here, and our winners will surely join the guests, the greats, who are coming to you live from the Winter Olympics, where they'll be handing out the medals. Let's take a look at our medalists who will take their place in Winter Olympics history. I'm surprised you didn't compete this year, Chris. It could have been you on the podium. You think I could have gone for gold? I think bronze might be a more realistic goal for you, Chris. Before we move on, let's give it up for the talented NBC sports crew here at the International Broadcast Center. I'm so excited to have the chance to interview these next athletes. They've just finished at this year's champions at the figure skating Paris event. Paris event. Two all-time greats. Please welcome David Sistrunk and Francisco Contreras. Hello, David and Francisco. Great to have you here. How is uh, Olympic Vi Village treating you? Oh, it's been great. Uh, eating a lot, having a lot of fun, going to some parties. <laughs> right. So after a tight competition, you two are now Olympic gold medalists. What has the journey been like? Well, oh, it's been very challenging, uh, but very rewarding. Very happy to have gone this far. First uh, all-male medals pairs, you know, figure skating pairs. <laughs> it sounds like everything is really working out for you. <laughs> it is. So I hear you spent a lot of time training these past four years. What's the best tip you can have for young figure skaters out there? Lots of Big Macs. Uh, you need the energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You need the energy. <laughs> I'll have to start implementing that into my morning routine. <laughs> so I heard you've been getting offers for sponsorship deals left and right. What's next for you two? Um, well, we have a campaign with American Eagle. We're going to be um, showing their new collection of denim. Just pretty much trending. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, try not to forget us little people now that you're stars. <laughs> we'll try not to. You two have been partners for a long time. How has it been working with one another? Um, Very challenging. Just like any partnership, sometimes you get along and sometimes you don't. Right. So, sounds like you really get along. <laughs> Dave and Francisco, we love having you here. What's been your favorite part of the game so far? My favorite part? Uh, watching all the other athletes. Uh, I think it's been great to see us show in the standings, and we've had some great medalists, and it's fantastic. My favorite part has been watching those cheerleaders. I mean, bringing that to the Olympic competition I thought was just genius on the part of the uh, producers. Oh, we almost forgot. We snuck you this out of the Olympic Village. Oh my God, I heard you had sticky fingers. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've been enjoying your time here at the Winter Olympics. Can you believe we are out of time? We'll have to do this again for the next games. How does that sound? That's great. Sounds great. So good to have you here. Thanks for dropping by. Anytime for you, but next time I'd like to meet uh, Mike Trico. And I'd rather interview Sean White. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone who made this, uh, this exclusive Winter Olympics segment possible today. Chris Magus, our medalists, and the talent David Sistrunk and Francisco Contreras, our wonderful camera operators. <laughs> and of course, our crew in the International Broadcast Center. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the rest of the tour at NBC Studios. I'm Stephen Van Hoeks. Good night. <laughs>